Alright, good morning guys. This is my next video. I kinda just woke up, so we'll see how it goes. Um, but today I actually have a question for you. Uh, so, uh, once I started thinking about this, it kinda made me a little, f I, I don't know, honestly. But once I realized it, it was like, what's going on? It's kinda messed up. So, what's wrong in our schools? Well, I'm glad you asked. Um, now, I'm not saying schools are manipulating us and they're run by Illuminati members and they're trying to control our minds. I'm not really saying that. I mean, it depends how you look at it. But I'm not going that deep because uh, it's not worth it. But um, I started thinking about the types of books that we read. Um, now I'm in the New York area, so we have, um, what are they called, Regents exams. So, in, I'm pretty sure it's all New York, that we read, like, the same books and stuff like that, then we get tested on them. And, when I look back at what I read in, it was mostly in high school, it covered basically one main topic, and that was death, honestly. And I gave myself five minutes. I even timed myself to see how many books I could come up with that involved this thing. I wrote it down. I'm prepared. So let's get started off. That first book is Night. Uh, that's about World War II and the Holocaust. So you really can't get any more positive than that, guys. That's sarcasm. Um, the Holocaust, I... We realized that it was an important event in our history, and probably the worst event in history so far, or at least definitely one of them, and it's like, you can't get any more negative than that, and they drill it into our heads for a solid four years, like, I don't know, uh, we cover it in history, or social studies, whatever you want to call it, we cover it in um, English, we watch books, watch videos, movies, um, next, Shakespeare, everything he writes is death-oriented, orientated, I don't go with it, uh, Romeo and Juliet, they both die, Hamlet, pretty sure they all die, Othello, someone dies in there, and then we got the Greeks, they're messed up too, because Oedipus, Oedipus is great, because he ends up killing his father, marrying his mother and has kids and then realizes it and then gouges his eyeballs out with knives like why not so then we go on to <laughs> Lord of the Flies that's about kids that get stranded on an island become savage and start killing each other more death and then the next book might be the, the exception Catcher in the Rye I don't remember the book in that much detail, but I, I think there was no death in it. However, there were drugs, drinking, prostitution, and all that good stuff. And I'm pretty sure at the end the author hinted that the main character was institutionalized. So, that's good. More sarcasm. Um, next book, As I Lay Dying. It's in the title, the, I think, well, couple people die, and then the road, um, that's like a post-apocalyptic world where the, a dad and his son are trying to survive, and then the dad dies, I might have ruined the end for you, but whatever, but these are, I don't know, I think nine books that I came up with in five minutes, all orientate, or orientated, I think is the word, but focused on death and dying. Like, that's pretty negative. And if you guys could come up with something that was more positive, I would love to hear it. Because honestly, I don't remember anything positive. I bring this up because then people complain or talk about, like, why are kids so screwed up these days? What, why are their minds so negative and they're doing these bad things? Video games... That's why. Video games. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, when I hear that, I'm like, really? 
Like, look at what you're literally shoveling down our throats in high school. And you wonder why we're messed up? Like, that's a lot. Death is, like, ridiculously negative. And then they wonder why stuff like this is going on. So when I realized that, it it hit me for some reason. And I read all the, these books. I want to tell you, I was a straight-A student in high school. I don't want to, like, I'm not saying that to brag. I'm saying that, that I cared. And it's not, you know, I kind of cared for my teachers, I guess you could say. But, um, you know, I wasn't this kid that failed everything and didn't care for my teachers. And that's why I'm saying this stuff. I'm saying that I did care and I actually remember all this garbage, but... It's, I don't know what else to say, guys, honestly. I kind of just wanted to bring this to your attention. Um, negativity is all around us. It just brings us down. And for some reason, I think there has to be a reason behind all this death-oriented literature. So honestly, I'm not sure what it is. I think they should be teaching us more, at least a couple uplifting books. I'm not saying it should be daisies, daffodils, and angels, and unicorns, and good things, ice creams. But, <laughs> but on a more serious note, I think there's something wrong there. And I'm going to be talking a lot about schooling and institutions, not institutions, <laughs> um, our education system, how it could be better. So, in later videos, we'll talk about it. So, hopefully, this kind of, I don't know, like, lightens up your mind or, you know, just brings attention to you. So, thanks for watching. It might have been a little longer than other videos because it kind of annoyed me how this went on. But, until next time, guys, talk to you later. Thanks for watching.